What you got, man? I don't know. All right, you hear the uh, radio chatter? Now, we took a, this is day three. Day one was an eye-opening experience. Way more, way more uh, movement in a kayak than I'm used to, even for a guy that has occasionally been through whitewater and done some pretty serious, fun river. Uh, this was all new to me, so. Uh, day two, I definitely got calmer hearted, trusted the boat a little bit more, trusted myself a little bit more, listened to my friends a little bit more. So this is day three, and we've done a panga trip out to an, an offshore hump, not very far offshore, maybe three miles, but uh, we've already had one hook up on a live bait. I'm just trolling or paddling around see what I can find. It's definitely been a wild adventure, I'll tell you. You know, if I don't lose weight in this deal somehow, I'll be amazed. <laughs> but yesterday this trolling plug did pretty good. I caught a, a big I have to follow you. Sierra, My Sierra GPS mackerel. Style. Not a Ciro mackerel like we have in the States. A Sierra mackerel. And it was a beautiful fish. Caught a small shark. So I'm going to troll this around and see what happens. This is the plug that Adam started me with two days ago, and it uh, it's a Yozuri, some sort, deep diver, but it caught my rock snapper, it caught the Sierra mackerel, it caught that tuna. I had a four foot houndfish that came up and actually hit me in the ribs with this in its mouth. Thank God the hooks didn't get me and the teeth didn't get me. But that plug has been really awesome. I'll fix to put it back in the water to see what happens again.
Colby's got a monster rooster fish. Russell got a big rooster fish. Will got a big rooster fish. Mark got a big rooster fish. Something smacked mine, but it didn't eat it. <laughs> There's a bunch of bait fish over that way. But I got a bait. I got a blue runner down right now. Oh, great, man. Good luck, buddy. Yesterday started off wonderful with, with my first ever tuna and just an unbelievable experience there. And then, then the wind came up and going opposite of the current. And I mean, the waves were... 15 to 20 feet, and I was absolutely terrified. Oh, I'm covered in marks underneath me. <laughs> we'll see. But I, the, the, it was way, way bigger than anything I've ever been in. Uh, and truthfully, it was spooky. I was glad when they called it yesterday. Good fish, right side. Eric is on, American flag. That's, I'm like, if this is a rooster, I don't want to hook another. I could not turn him. I was thumbing the spool and turning back in on him. Yes. I had the drag set on hate, and my arms were screaming. And Will's like, if you let him rest, he's going to take off again. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's like, literally, one of us has got to rest. Somebody has got to rest. Whoa. Oh my gosh. It's not a monster, but dude, I'm going to French kiss that sucker if I get into the boat. Do it. That's a bad, yeah, yeah, you got the deep set up. Get that sucker up. Please put your prop up when you can. I'm up, sir, I'm up. Guys, nice, you got it, man. All right, we need, we need a funkism. You have had oh, to stop have planned it. Really, really, you gotta go. Don't reel the swivel into the guide. Yes, sir. Let him tire, tire out there. You don't want to bring him up yet. He's gonna go. Yeah, again. he's, he's got to be fresh. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I'm hooked into a Panamanian dump truck. <laughs> Rooster! Rooster! Woo! Rooster! 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 Rooster!
Yeah, right there. Sleepy, you feel a handle be okay. behind the jaw? Nice. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I love you, Rasta Fish. I love you. <laughs> so that's what they look like. There you go, perfect. Oh, my friend. You record me. I'm gonna release it for you. <laughs> my new friend, he just got his nice rooster fish and he's going straight in the water. You, you ready? I absolutely cannot tell you how awesome this day has been. This is our last day. And we launched earlier, which meant, meant that the S-curve was shallower. So the, the waves were sharper and it was pretty intense getting out. But we no sooner made it out of the end of the pass and somebody else was hooked to a rooster. Somebody else was hooked to a rooster, uh, 50, 51. I don't know how many roosters were going off, and there I was, again, roosterless. And uh, I trolled one bait for a long time, and then found out it was hooked in the back, so I had to turn around and get it back, back around. Got a new bait, put that out, Adam put it out for me, right behind me. He said, paddle, 15 seconds, free spool, get it out behind you about 100 feet plus, let it roll. It was probably 15, 20 minutes after that, clicker went off and I sat in and when the comb came by underwater I knew it was a rooster and it was not a giant I call it a banny rooster but I don't care because it was a rooster just incredible big fish were still going off all around me when it settled down and calmed down and I actually used it I tied on a big iron I was going to try to do some deep jigging because I'm marking some good fish so I tied on the big iron, and I started easing into shallower water, and all of a sudden the rod took off, and I mean it took off so strong, I couldn't get it out of the holder. It was just a solid run, so the fish hit and was hooked immediately. And when I finally got out of the holder and turned, when I saw the red turn under, I said, no way. When the fish turned, I could see the canines. I said, Kubera! So two of my absolute target species, the rooster fish, the Kubera, taken on the last day. Last night, my wife and I texted, and I said, you know what, it's been a great trip. If I don't do the rooster, then then I, I'm, I'm happy. I still, all my, my friends have gotten them. I, I've taken pictures. I'm great. And all she said was, maybe it's your turn. Have the best day ever. I did. It has been an outstanding day. What a beautiful place. What an interesting and awesome experience. If you get the opportunity, come here. You will not regret it.